my little butterflies and this video is going to be my February wrap up video. So you guys, in the month of February, I did read as many books as I read in January, which was four books. Um, I guess quality wise, this month my reading was not on a good quality as it was in January. But I didn't have a terrible reading month. I kind of started off bad, not even gonna lie. Then I ended on a good note. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, three of the four books that I read were books that I read for review um, in February. But I'm currently still reading two books that I started at the end of February. One of those books being The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander. And the second book is Element of She Read, and I can't remember who the author was, but that is the book that I'm reading from NetGather for review, and it comes out March 7th, I think. But I'm kind of reading it now. Um, I'm just about halfway done with it, so I, I should be finished those two books by this first week of March. I should be done. Um, the first book that I read in February was a collection of poems and I did a review on it and it's called The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. It came out on February 14th. I read that book for review from NetGalley and Andrew McMill's publishing and I gave that book a 2 out of 5 stars because I basically think that half of the book was page fillers it was like one sentence on a page and that's it or a quote and that was it um I mean I didn't buy a book well, I didn't buy it, but, you know, I didn't choose this book because oh, I wanted to read one sentence on a page or because I wanted to read a quote. I can look quotes up online if I want to read quotes. Um, and I definitely don't want just a page with one sentence on it. Like, that's not poetry, you know? It's like, I, and like I said in my review, I felt like I would rather have a very small collection of poems that were really, really good that would have got five stars versus a, you know their standard size of porn collection that I end up giving two out of five stars because half of it was page fillers and bullshit. But um, if you guys want to see my review for that, I did do a review and I will post it on the eye so you guys can go and check it out. The second book that I read in the month of February is The Fillin' Boyfriend by Casey West. Pretty cover right. Very beautiful. I know. Um, but I gave this book a three out of five stars and it's not because it is bad. Oh, and it's a YA contemporary. It's not because it's a bad book, because it's not a bad book. I just, you guys know, I don't really care for too much, like, like, really soft, you know, mushiness. And, you know, I knew there was going to be, I knew there was going to be, like, you know, mushiness in here. But I mean, like, like, how do I say this? Like, like, childish mushiness. Like, I love, like, steaming books, but this was, like, really, like, cliche. Let me say that. It was cliche mushy. You know, it's like, I didn't, like certain things that went on through the book that carried out throughout the whole entire book and it was like I'm tired of this I'm tired of seeing this like get out I did a review for this book also and I will also link that on the eye so you can guys can go and check it out I don't know what side it's going to be on but I'm going to link it on the eye so you guys can go and look at my review this wasn't a bad book this was actually one of my good books that I read in the month of February it's just like I say me personally I don't really care for like cliche mushiness in a book but that was the only issue that's the only thing I can say that I that would make me make it a three out of five stars is all the cliche mushiness details that went on in this book that's all that's the only thing that made me get it a three out of five stars so you guys can go and check out my review for this book I, like I said I wouldn't reread this book but I would recommend it if you haven't read it yet and it's like a first time with you reading it definitely go ahead but I wouldn't say this is reread material for me because it's cliche mushy the third book that I read in February was The Invisible Hand by James Hartley and this was a book that I also got from review for from NetGalley and Lowstone Books I think it's the name of the publisher it came out February 24th and I gave this book a one damn star and this was the last review video that I did. I'm going to post it on the eye. I absolutely hated this book. Absolutely. Like, it pissed me off, like, so bad. And, you guys, this is another time-traveling novel that I got. And I'm just not having good luck with time-traveling books because I read a time-traveling novel from NetGalley that I got last month. And it's called, it was called Love and Gravity. Can't remember who. I think it was Samantha Soto, I think is the name of the author. But I didn't like that one either, but I liked it more than this one. I think I gave that one three out of five stars. But this one, The Invisible Hand, I hated it. I think it came out February 24th. I don't recommend this book at all. At all. I think it was an adult. No, it was YA. It was like a YA fantasy. 
and it's the first book of a series called Shakespeare's Loon and each book is supposed to be time traveling through a different Shakespeare play. That sounds like it could have been something, right? But it wasn't. It, I didn't like it at all. That's what I'm going to say for it. You guys should go and check out my review if you want to know my full thoughts on it. And, um, yeah, go check that out. I, I'm going to link that on the eyes so you guys can go and see it. Don't, I guess I'm kind of brutally honest in that video, just to warn you ahead of time. I really am, but I mean, that's my true feelings to that book, okay? And the last book that I read in the month of February was also a collection of poems, but this one, unlike um, the first collection of poems I read in the beginning of the month, was amazing. I gave it a five out of five stars, and it's called The Heart is a Nursery for Hope by Elaine, um, where, Real Room? Real Room? I don't know how to pronounce my last name, but guys. And this is also a book I got from NetGalley, but it came out last year, September 2016, so it's already released. You guys can go and buy it. It was really good. It was just so beautiful. I still have to film the review for it, so I'm going to do a review for it just because it, it was just such a beautiful piece of art. Like, I really enjoyed this collection of poems. It was just so amazing, and it, it, like, it was very lyrical. It was one of those um, collection of poems where it's like, you have to read it out loud. Cause that's how beautiful it is it's like you have to read it out loud and hear yourself read it like it was just amazingly done it was really beautiful i recommend it like that is that is poetry that is what you call poetry like that was really freaking good like you should you guys should go and check it out i'm going to leave it in um, the description bar with a good reason link to it you guys should freaking go and read that that collection of poems like i think that is amazing like I think that is just an amazing work of art. Like, definitely go in and look at that. That is freaking, it's it just so beautiful that all I can say about it. Because I don't want to do my review here. I want to do an actual video for review. So that's all I can say is that it's beautiful. And just be looking for my review for that collection of poetry. Just be looking for my review for it. Because it was amazing. I really enjoyed reading that. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, That was all the books that I read in February. But I kind of wanted to talk about some of the books that I've been reading to Kalea that I've been reading to her in February. Um, I just bought this book for her. And I, I saw this book in Barnes & Noble when I was pregnant with her. And I died laughing, like, reading it in, in Barnes & Noble. I was like, I just had to get it. But when I went back to get it, I couldn't find it. I couldn't even remember the name of it. But I found it on freaking Amazon. And I was like, that is the book I've got to talk about. And it is the cutest book ever. And it is so sweet and it's funny. And it is May I Please Have a Cookie by Jennifer E. Morris. It's a good freaking book. It's beautiful. And it's basically about this boy. I think his name is Elfie. He really wants a cookie. His mom just baked cookies. And he, he it shows him different ways of him trying to take it. But his mom keeps telling him to find a better, a better way to get a cookie. What she wants him to do is to politely ask, may I have a cookie? Which he ends up doing at the end. And I really love it. Like, it's very beautiful. The, the pictures are amazing. She likes it. Like, um, I think the, the colors are just so bright and beautiful. When I'm reading it to her, she likes really her eyes are like almost bucking out of her head staring at the pictures. And it's the funniest thing. And I like this. I love this book. I love reading this to her. It's funny. And it's, it's fun. <laughs> I can't wait that she can start laughing at it. Like, she's kind of responsive to it. Like, she'll do her little, her baby kind of language. But she likes to look at the pictures. I can tell you that much. Um, this The other two books that I've really been reading to her... Um, this one is Dr. Seuss. Uh, one of them is Green Eggs and Ham. And she's very responsive to that book. Like, I didn't think that a two-month-old could be responsive to, like, reading like that. Like, she will make her baby noises, like, the whole time I'm reading. And I'm like, okay, I wasn't expecting that from a two-month-old. I was like, okay, you like this book. I get it. You know, um, I read, I've read um, Hop on Pop to her. She's not that responsive to that book. She's just kind of lazy and take it. So, it's like I can kind of pick out the books that she likes me i think it's more of the pictures that she's seeing versus hearing my voice i could be wrong but i think that's what it is um i've been reading hop on pop to her she just kind of lays there and take it she kind of just goes to sleep on that one it's not really anything that's that's big interesting to her um those are the three books that i've been reading in rotation to her in february in january i've read um the little ray hen to her and i got this book because i really enjoyed this book as a kid and she sits there, she's not really responsive to this one. She like looks at the picture as I'm reading it, but she doesn't make any like noise while I'm reading it to her like she does with green eggs and ham and now please have a cookie. But this like she stays up and she likes to look at the pictures in this one, I think is what it is with this one. She doesn't really like she'll stay up and she'll have her eyes wide open the whole time while I'm reading this. And then after 
I put the book away and she's out. She's done with it. Cause I, I think it's a kind of a long book for two months old. But I like to read this one to her. And also in January, I read this book that they gave us at the hospital um, before we left for her. And it's um, at the zoo. It's a Sesame Street Beginnings book. And she she loves looking at the goddamn picture of the elephant on this one. I get the most I get the most response out of her for this page. And I always and I she like swipes at the book, which I don't know if that's intentional or not. But she like. Every time it comes to this, her eyes just pops out of her head and she like swipes at the book. And I'm like, oh, you must like, you know, elephants. <laughs> but I could be wrong, but I mean, I'm not going to discourage her either. I'm just going to run roll with that because she loves this this page. And the, other, the rest of the book she did, you know, she takes she loves this page. I get the most response out of her for this page. It wasn't hard for me to read to her because she reads to myself all the time. So it's not hard for me to read to my baby. And I love our reading time together. I really do. And I think she loves it. I think she loves it too. She likes it. You know, I don't read to her every day. So I'm not going to say I read to her every day because I don't. Uh, I might read to her maybe. I want to say I might read to her three times out of the week. Which I don't think is bad for two months old at all. Because, you know, she's a baby. But she also is getting used to... To books and stuff you know but I'm not reading to her every day because I don't I don't think I read every day I might read like even because if I don't feel like reading I can't make myself read because then I'm not gonna like what I'm reading because I'm forcing myself to read or I might end up just reading one page and then be like okay I don't feel like reading anymore but I have been reading to her and I have been reading to myself as well and that's my wrap up for this month you guys so I think I'm gonna start doing videos with Kalea like kind of like a caterpillar corner thing not like once a month just showing like books that i've been reading to her in the month but nothing too you know extra because she's just too much freaking out she can't really do anything but just to talk about the books that i've been reading to her um that month let me know in the comments below if you guys if that's something you guys would like to see like just a video with me and her just talk about books that i've read to her in the month that'll be like a once a month thing kind of when i do my wrap up so Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.